this is something that everyone contemplates. Like, what makes you conscious? Yes. What is the soul? Is it a real thing? What is yeah. what is your consciousness? Is it simply just your own biology trying to calculate your environment and looking out for its best interests and trying to procreate and move mm. forward with the uh, the yes. the genes that it has, or is it something m almost mystical? Or far more complicated, maybe even instead of the word mystical might be tainted, maybe yes. something far more complex than we're currently able to understand. I think to some extent I would agree it is because it's certainly different. I mean, to have some internal perception of the external world and, and yes. being able to think abstractly and all these things, it's surely different from the way a uh, baseball runs through the air and what what makes it spin and and different than every other conscious animal i'm not so sure about that no i think the difference isn't that big really i mean okay we you know we use language to a degree i mean some animals use language to some kind of degree mm. there's a huge difference in degree i'd agree with that but whether it's a difference in kind i'm not at all sure um you know you watch these nature movies and I remember seeing one about elephants, and this was about how the elephants were, they were always, they were always led by a female elephant, and that's not relevant to the story, but they were trying to go from A to B, I don't remember what it was, and they, oh, there was a whole herd of them, they'd be doing that. But then at a certain point, they made a detour, and they went off to a place where the leader of the elephant herd, her sister, had died. And there, the bones and the tusks, I suppose, were there, bones anyway, were there, and the elephants picked them up, handed them around, and, and seemed to caress them and move them around, and then they went back to join to the, the route that they wow. were before. Now, what does that tell us? There's something going on which is not just some machine behaving <laughs> yes. like a robot. There's some, some feelings there that yes. we can appreciate. I mean, another one I remember was one with these uh, hunt, African hunting dogs, and the dogs, you see, there was a, a route where some antelopes would tend to go, and they had to go across the river. And when they got to the point where they crossed the river, they might slow down and, and make their way to get across. Now, these hunting dogs, you could see them. I think it was taken from the air, and they would go along towards this place where the river was, and then they would break into two. So half of them would go one way towards the, and they would hide just where the river starts. And the other half would go and chase the antelopes. They'd go and bark and make an awful noise, chase them right there. And then the other ones would pounce on them. I mean, there's something there which is, you know, they, they've been working it out between themselves, how to do it. Yes. Commu communication of some kind. Yes. And I think there is what you call understanding. Okay, m at a more primitive level than, than in human understanding, but nevertheless, there is something. There's no sort of clean dividing line, in my view. It's 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 pretty continuous. Yeah, and this exists in wolves as well. So very very similar behavior, and they do seem to have not just verbal but nonverbal communication. They seem to have some understanding of what the task is uh -huh. and yeah. what their roles are in the task. And even though there's not as many variables, maybe as human life, there there definitely seems to be a conscious awareness of first of all their their position in the hierarchy of the tribe, yeah, of the the pack rather, but it, yeah. also their what their objective is. This this is not a, a selfish objective; it's a group objective, and they they operate as a group, and they do move like those African dogs that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's fascinating all that. Yeah. And there's a lot of indication that, uh, well, certainly chimps and elephants mm. and things and dolphins, you, we know about them, but I imagine it goes quite far down, I should think. How much have you studied uh, octopi? They're fascinating, aren't yeah. they? Yes. No, I haven't. There's a new book about them, which I haven't got the chance to read yet. I want to read it. I think they're, they're highly intelligent. Yes. 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 Yeah, I've it only been different. really paying attention to them for a few years. Ah, I have a, a good friend. My friend Remy Warren was uh, doing a television show mm -hmm. um, called Apex Predator, where he studied the, the way different animals hunted. And he started studying the way octopus and um, uh, cuttlefish and all these different, uh, yeah, d d different uh, octopi and what the way they could adapt to their environment by changing their actual, the, the not just the look but the texture of their skin Gosh. instantaneously. 
and how this is not really understood how they not only how they do it but how they know yeah. what they're what's below them what they're copying yes. that they somehow or another can figure out how to blend in almost perfectly with their environment it's amazing isn't it yes. they also can open jars and they can <laughs> climb out of tanks there yeah. was one guy had a he had a camera on his tank because he had two tanks yes. and one of them had very expensive tropical fish and the other one had his octopus and he was trying to figure out what was happening to his expensive tropical fish, so he put a camera on it. And the octopus was climbing out of the tank, walking across the ground, climbing into the other tank, <laughs> killing one of the fish, eating it, and then going back into his tank. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's, that's heavy. Goes. Indeed. Well, there's one I saw about oct I, I think I heard the description, or I read it. I, th I think I read it. About there were some experiments on testing the intelligence of octopuses. Or, and they had a... A little thing, that it had to pull a chain and then open a door and get food out. And this octopus was thinking, I'm getting fed up with this thing. And so it yanked the chain and it came right off. And then it rose to the top and started squirting all the people in their white coats. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good. You know, there's something else going on than just... There is something yeah, going on. Absolutely.